Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Happy February. Happy February. New month, new goals. Um, and we'll get into that later. New month, same old goal. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess we're going over it now. Oh, I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I redid it this morning just now. Uh, February momentum board. 360 items is the goal. And it is a leap month or leap year. Yeah. So we have 29 days in February to accomplish that. And uh, yeah, looking forward to that. The other thing, cleared all of the pens off of the map. And from now on, whenever we sell somewhere, if it's a state capital, yep. it gets a pen. Right. And you know what? We can make this even more fun, maybe. Maybe we'll put the state cap, we'll put pens in every time and not just uh, the first time. Oh, every time a state capital. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought you meant every state. I'm like, I need to get more pens. <laughs> no. Every city. So, okay. uh, so yeah, I think it's gonna. This is gonna take a long, long time because as some of y'all mentioned in the comments, some of these state capitals are very small. So. Yeah. This could be like a whole year or more right. little project or here. Never. And when we need help, we'll show y'all what we can do. Okay, so um, we have orders on eBay and Mercari, and just to save y'all from sheer boredom, we did check for state capitals on eBay. We haven't checked the Mercari one yet, and we're going to show y'all how we did it really <laughs> easily. Um, so we're going to get started with the first one that is it is on Mercari. Um, Marvin the Martian stained glass. It's an MU8. Okay. And it's going to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And watch, this is how we do it. Alexa, what's the capital of Wisconsin? Wisconsin's capital is Madison. Okay, there we thank go. you. Thank you, Alexa. All right, now, uh, how do we forget? Okay, Marvin the Martian, that's him right there. Yes, and it's on for $29.99, free shipping. What? Free shipping. You serious? Yes. Why? I don't know. Oh, that's on, oh, Mercari. Yeah. Okay. It must have weighed over a pound. Okay. No, that's good though. No, it doesn't weigh over a pound. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know why I did that. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. That's fine. Because I think it's, it was currently on eBay at like 22 or 25 or something like that. So it'll work out fine. Yeah. I mean, I added in for the shipping. I, I, I assumed it was over a pound. Okay. Next items are going to be on eBay. Uh, first thing is a Kansas City Chiefs hat, uh, hat box C. Okay, which one is it? Oh, they're all in the same box? No. It's 47 brand, 2022 AFC Champions. Okay, got it. That sold for $16.99. Where's it going? Fordland, Missouri. Okay. All right, the next order has two lots of comic books, Hobbit 12 and Hobbit 13. Right. Oh, oh, oh! I, I was thought I was gonna be going up there, and I'm not. No, okay. they're smaller, like comic book lots. Uh huh? Look, yeah, like an order of twelve, and one has fifteen in it. I think. Oh, okay. What are? Okay. Oh, uh, all right. Here. Yeah. Here we go. Would you grab that one? Yeah. Okay. Well, this isn't bad. Whoa. Okay. All right. I need to move that Hobbit box somewhere else. Yeah, it's getting pretty empty yeah um so hobbit 12 sold for 24 dollars and hobbit 13 sold for 28 dollars and they're going to moses lake washington okay that is definitely not the uh capital no. of washington <laughs> okay we sold the brook book okay six bravo <laughs> we're using a new screen i'm having trouble finding everything else. It's there. uh six bravo yeah we Instead of looking at the uh, waiting shipment page, uh, we're looking at the print label page because it has all the states on it without having to click. Like the bulk print label. Right, the yeah. bulk print label. So, yeah. uh, Brook Book, 6 Bravo. I wonder if you would have put... Oh, did we put... No, it's in a plastic. Oh, I, I think I see it. Is this her here? Oh, no, it's not in plastic. Yeah, that's it. That's it. The uh, Probably the... Because you listed two Brook the Shields books. One is pro yeah. And th this is the cheaper one at 35 huh? Yeah. It, um, normally it can go for higher, but that one has a lot of discolorations on it, so I just marked it low. Okay. Um, thirty-four ninety-nine is going to Velati, New York. We sold our last 
lounge fly toy story backpack yeah happy about that okay. he's getting out the claw right. the claw <laughs> okay this might not be a great idea okay no that works if I had to get too rough with it, I wouldn't have keep, kept doing it. Okay. I do that with a wooden kitchen spoon to get stuff out of tall cabinets, like slices <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> I knock them out. <laughs> okay, that's all for $26.24 going to Toledo, Ohio. Uh, Alexa, what's the capital of Ohio? I forgot. I just want to know. Columbus. Ohio's capital is Columbus. Ah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, in the guy drawer... We sold a birdie. Guy's behind you. Guy's behind me right now? <laughs> what, he sleeping here last night? <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, birdie? Yep. Okay. It sold for $9.99 going to Windsor, Ontario, Canada. All right. Um, yeah, okay. You okay? Now, I was thinking about wanting to do something with international stuff, but I don't know. Maybe that'll be the next thing, countries. Uh, yeah, but Candace, we're going to be doing this for three years. Well, then after that's done, we'll do countries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and the last item is a Masters of the Universe laser disc. It's in the vinyl box. But there might be another item, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's right. Man, I did something really embarrassing. Candace is so mad at me. She was... We came in here first. First thing, Candace got mad at me. Y'all, y'all don't see it, but Candace gets on me sometimes. Y'all don't see it though. You deserve this one. This one, this is right, correct? Yes. Okay. That's all for thirty-two dollars going to Summerfield, Illinois. All right. And I know the capital of Illinois is Springfield because we did ask Alexa that just a little Isn't while ago. Is that where the Simpsons are? Uh, there's, a, I think there's a Springfield in every state. Oh, is there? I think so. I think that might be accurate. Okay, and then the last thing is the thing that made me mad. <laughs> it's on 10 Charlie. It's a yellow German soldier nutcracker. Okay. It's this little guy. That's over $30 going to Valdosta, Valdosta, Georgia. Ah, okay. Yeah. What is it? Alexa, what's the capital of Georgia? Atlanta. No. Georgia's capital is Atlanta. Oh, it is. Okay. It's one of the rare ones where the big city is, is the yeah. is the capital. That's what makes capitals tricky. I know. You think it's the big city. Well, hang on. Like you think Louisiana'd be New Orleans? Nope. It's nope. Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let me get. Let me pull up that message. Okay. So we get a message. Candace is getting ready for work. Yes. Getting ready for her commute to work to yeah. walk <laughs> ten commute, feet or whatever. Yeah. Uh, we get a message about uh, that Nutcracker right there. And does Nutcracker have stamp or mark from Germany on the bottom of it? Very interested in Nutcracker. I replied without even coming in the shed or talking to Candace or nothing. And he didn't list it, by the way. <laughs> I replied, but I looked at the title, okay? The title says at the end of it, GDR East Germany. And I was like, okay, there's no way Candace listed that with that in the title unless it actually has a stamp or a mark or something or a sticker or something on it to tell her it was that there's no way she would have put that in the title and so i very confidently yeah, and very oh very confident you will see by his words how confident he was oh yeah i looked at the pictures and sure enough we do not have the picture of the bottom of this nutcracker which is kind of weird but I, I looked at the title i'm like okay candace had the sticker or the stamp or she wouldn't have put that so i put so i wrote back if we put it in the title, then it definitely does. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to take that photo somehow. I'll take it and add it to the listing and message you back. Thank you, Lonnie. Then she says, I would like to buy it if it has a label. And that's when we come out here. Candace, were you all you were already questioning me, weren't you? I was like, if 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 I didn't put a picture of the bottom, there's nothing on there for some reason. And then when I looked, I remembered why. Look. Okay. There's nothing there, but there, there was, was something there. There was a sticker, there. and I, I think I had to clean it off good. There was like some gunk on the bottom or something, so the sticker came off, but it did have its origins. That's how I knew where it came from. Mm. Um, and I'm like, Lonnie, you're about, you're handling this. <laughs> she she said you're gonna handle this. She was 
she was kind of mad. Not like not like like really legit mad, mad mad, but she was. I mean, you understand, right? I get it. Yeah, I get it. Just wait till you come out here and look at the merchandise. Okay. Right. So anyway, it continued on. Just checked and it does not have the label. Sorry to waste your time. Thanks, Lonnie. <laughs> and she said, please let me know if you take less Love the Nutcracker. So we already had it on sale at $37.50. And um, I, I replied with offer 30 and she bought it. So I'm happy to do that. That's fine. Yeah. So are you still mad? No, I just, I, I know you learned a good lesson. <laughs> oh, God. I know you will never do that again without laying uh, eyes on the product. I'm 50 years old. You think I'm still learning things? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff packed. Actually, why don't y'all come pack with me? Okay, first thing we're going to pack is uh, Marvin. And I, I just looked and we did not... No, that's fine. We did not do free shipping on this. Uh, Candace just thought we did. So it's $29.99 minus fees, and then they paid, I don't know, whatever it was. I think it was like 12 ounces shipping or something like that. So we are good to go. And um, just using 864 box here. Do like a little paper base. I'm gonna do just a little more bubble. This is his glass. Trying to get it a little thicker around there. There we go. Nestle it in there. Keep it from moving front or back, side to side. Do a little more paper on top. We're going to pack a hat and use these bags for that. I don't remember what do they cost? Like a, I think they're like three cents or something a piece. They're great. I love them. The cool thing is too is they kind of they kind of provide a little bit of void fill too to keep the thing from like bouncing like crazy all around but yeah that is done this is why i love dealing with hats so when you sell them the packing takes less than a minute okay next we have these two lots of comics they're actually like graphic novels i believe We're going to use old, good old 12, 10, 4 box for this one. So I love this box because it is a really good one for cubic rate shipping. And you can actually fit way more than you might expect. I still like to put, I'm not going to put a ton of paper in here. I'm just going to put enough. give the books some stability in there and then I'll just pad out around the sides a little bit here too just something like this and usually I'll when I do this I'll try and like get one piece to go around like that. And I get another piece, kind of tuck it in here. I mean these aren't like super fragile or anything, but put another piece on top. And we're ready to go.
Alrighty, what's next? Alright, come over here and get a poly mailer. Because we are packing Brook Book. And using one of these Gemini Comet mailers. Which I bought bought like 500 of these things. These Gemini Comet mailers. Like I don't know, it had to be like four years ago or three years ago or something. And still have a bunch left. I bought that many because there was a huge price break at the time. And um, I've looked at the prices since. And to be honest with y'all, I'm not sure that I'm going to buy them again. Which makes me sad because I'm down to like... I think I'm down to my last like hundred or so and they're 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 pricey now and they always were kind of pricey but I got the price down by buying so many but, man they save so much time I might change my mind and see if I can get a price break from them all right that's done okay this next one is super easy this and uh, I don't really have a great a box that'll fit that perfectly which is why I really like these 12, 12, 12s boxes. Because I'm able to use these for so many things. So I don't want to stock more box types than I have to. So this helps me keep my box supply simple. All right, go. I'll just see about how tall I need it. Need like about right here. Get this guy out. I like this one. Let's sit right here. I'm gonna take it out of there. Make sure I don't damage the, the bag or any plastic or anything. And. I need a knife to cut up these corners. And here's what this knife's actually falling apart. I need to tighten that screw. Get another one. Okay, so here's what I do also is you end up with a lot of flap. And in this particular case, all that extra cardboard is just a waste. So what I'll do is I'll kind of test it. I'll trim off three of these flaps trim this whoops this all right and uh yeah we'll go with a little paper we don't need bubble wrap or anything like that but i will put a little paper to immobilize it a little bit. Drop her in. A little more paper. And then this will fold nicely on. There we go. That's folded nicely, you can see on the scores. One vertical like that. Same thing here. Okay, that one's done. Our right, next up is Birdie here. And this is a 644 box. This one is interesting. This is one of the first sales we've made. Uh, with simple simple export rate recently so we decided to add direct shipping to canada for a lot of things and what we'll do is we'll put like well hang on i'll show you all the uh just go wrap wrap birdie in paper i think that's good i'll show you all the chart in a second 
but this is going to Canada. I think it's just like a $10 item too. And one of the things I was concerned about, let me, let me get that chart and I'll show it to y'all. One of the things I was concerned about, taped it on the top of the monitor, that's not even a good place for it, uh, is that like this is a $10 item and y'all know on eBay you pay uh, shipping, no, you're not shipping, final value fee on all money you collect typically. But uh, when it comes to when it comes to uh, international orders, they actually charge you final value fee on lowest cost domestic option. So I'm not paying more final value fee for this. Um, and look, so this is going to be 0.5 pounds to Canada for 9.99. So the buyer paid ten dollars to ship this. So uh, we're offering that on most of our stuff that's under four pounds. Okay, we're gonna pack a cracker here. And this is a small guy, so um, I'm gonna use this box. This is a 1086 box I get from eBay. I like, I like getting those with my uh, store coupon. So I wanna use this box, but it's not quite the right dimensions. So put him there. I'm gonna put... I'm going to do this at 12 inches. That'll be a good spot. 12. Okay. All right. And this, there's a little bother to this, I guess. Getting out the uh, old straight edge. It wasn't a very straight cut. Getting out the old straight edge and drawing it and stuff like that. It takes a little bit. It definitely is a diff another step. But I don't have to. See, usually I cut these ahead of time and it works a little better getting this time okay that knife is dull I need to get my knives together here all of these are dull change out some blades all right okay, so we made this box longer Pack it down. And here comes the tape. Get ready. I do use a ton of tape when we do these. Because sometimes you can kind of change the structural integrity of the box a little bit. So I like to make sure I lock it down really tight. Okay, let's see. This, this resize, this knife is so dull it's dangerous. I got to use like an extreme amount of force to cut. There we go. Okay, and we're going to make a little... A bed for him to lay on. I'm going to get us some uh, bubble wrap. I'll get two and, and two more. Okay. And his little purse or whatever fell down. <laughs> Let me give him a quick wrap. This pack is uh, really not critical because this guy is small. And he's going to be floating in between a bunch of paper. This really is pretty easy. Oh, she's 
ready to roll. Drop them in. And we paper around them to immobilize. Okay. And this is that's pretty much how I packed every nut, every nutcracker, pretty much. Uh, even the larger ones would we'll just use larger boxes. And surprisingly, we shipped, I don't know, we shipped like, uh, I don't know, 175 nutcrackers now in the past year. And uh, we lost none of them to, uh, no packages got lost, no packages got damaged or anything. We, like, we had no issues whatsoever shipping nutcrackers. Okay, last one is this um, LaserDisc, Masters of the Universe. And uh, this is already in like a, like a protector or whatever. And I did go ahead and cut, I like to do this usually. I cut some scrap cardboard out and um, made it just a tad bigger than the laser disc like that. And I put it on the bottom. I just think I just consider it to like make everything um, stiffer. I don't think it matters, my opinion, if you put it on top or bottom. So uh, that's why I do it like that. And then we just fold. These folds are a little stiff sometimes. You kind of pre-fold them. It helps. Okay. But yeah, as far like if you deal with um, if you deal with vinyl or here we go. If you deal with vinyl or you deal with a uh, laser disc or things shaped like this, I, I think that. I think these vinyl mailers are indispensable. I mean, you can do it another way. Like if you just, you know, you could just use cardboard and fold it over and stuff. But man, these make it so much easier that I wouldn't want to do anything else other than what I'm doing here. And when you finish, especially with that extra piece of cardboard in there, Man, it is, it's pretty stiff. I'm not saying it's bulletproof, but it's its pretty good. All right, light shipping day. So uh, everything's ready to go. And it was a perfect day to let y'all pack with me. Okay, many, uh, many hours later. It's actually like 3.30 right now. Uh, we're working on jeans, y'all. We got some jeans out. Candace did some other listings. Um, we're kind of tag teaming these right now, though. I'll show you how we're kind of doing it. I'm doing all the photos. And then uh, while I'm at, right after I do the, while I'm finishing up like measurements and things like that, Candace, I hand Candace the card. We have two memory cards for passing back and forth. Like right now, Candace has that one done. So this tells us, um, he takes the pictures, puts them in here, and puts the info I need on here. It tells me the um, the item skew, the location we're gonna put them, um, and then what they are, the size, and what they actually measure at. Right, I'll show you better on some jeans because those are just shorts. Yeah. So like these are uh, 550s, Levi 550s, 40 by 32, measured 38 by 30 and a half. Levi's are very often quite different. Yes. So. Um, sometimes they shrink, sometimes they just come different. So we're doing that and we're doing something else a little differently today also. I know we touched on um, issues we're having with eBay, um, eBay's platform. So we decided to approach our listing different. Um, we're actually going into List Perfectly and building our listings there. Right. And that way um, we can shoot them over to eBay when eBay is working properly. And also if we want to cross list them at that time, we can do that at the same time. Yeah, we're thinking about going ahead and cross listing immediately. Yeah. Uh, especially for this kind of stuff. Jeans typically aren't the kind of thing that are going to sell in 30 minutes or something anyway. Right. Yeah. And 
Candace has been pretty vigilant about taking down mm -hmm. sold stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I think we're, well, we, we've done nine so far. Yes, we've done nine pair. Okay. So, yeah. we might do, like, another pair or two, and then we're going to, I think we're going to switch back over to doing something else. Right, just to mix things up. Right. We don't want to have all jeans going up on one day. Right. And then, yeah, I, I'm kind of, we... We've been using List Perfectly to, um, and this is not a List Perfectly ad. That's what we use. Uh, we've never tried anything else. We do have a referral link below. Um, I know a lot of y'all use, there's a bunch of them now. Yeah. There's like, uh, oh, I can't. Is Vendu one of them? Vendu is one. Uh, uh, I can't think of it. There's, there's a couple of them, and some of them are free. Some of them, uh, List Perfectly is paid. Yeah. But, um, it's what we've used and we're just uh, we're used to it and we're happy with it yeah you know? yeah yeah um but yeah we're, we're gonna start making our listings with endless perfectly and then there will be just like there always are when we're like cross posting some some sites want some information some don't and then we, we might have to tweak them a little bit here or there right um, but Especially eBay when they want all the item specifics, we have to go in and just double check that and add to it. But it gives us a big head start. Yeah. Especially on the cross listing. We're talking about what, like a minute of like just going through and double checking everything. Yep. Checking item specifics real fast and then perhaps submit and yep. it should be good. Yep. So, all right, we're going to keep on with this. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two. Morning, Candace. Good morning. Welcome. Uh, we had some really good sales overnight. Yeah, we didn't have a lot of sales. But we had some good ones. We had a few high quality sales then. Yeah. Which I guess is what we should want. Yeah, we want less sales for more money. Uh, now, now I think we kind of want more sales because of what we're listing. Well, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you're going to not sell, have a ton of quantity, you might as well have a few heavy hitters. And that's what we had. Yes. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's go ahead and pull these and have something I want to talk about. Okay. Um, first item is on my desk. It's a snow white snow yeah. globe. <laughs> Man, we have been trying to sell this forever. It sold for fifty and it's going international. <laughs> Look, it's got see dust on top of it. I don't <laughs> have, to, have to wipe it off. Yeah. Alrighty. Um we saw the pattern, one of the little patterns we got from Bev. It's um pattern it's so they're on five F, it's number two. Okay, 5F. Should I go this way? I think so, yeah. It's in that box. Five. It's in that box. Oh. Well, no, it's on the other side. Let's... Of course. <laughs> I don't think you can get to it. I have a thing in the way. That's all right. It's a lid. Okay. 5F number two, you said, right? Yeah. Okay. Number, oh heck, this is like what, the third pattern? I think so. Third pattern we've sold, yeah. so. Don't, and we have a lot more patterns too, uh, don't we? We do, we have um, like some more modern, like simpl simplicity patterns. From Bev? No, from um, our big eBay store buy. Right? Yeah. Big box of them. Um, so that one is um, number 129, tucked bubble. That's right. Okay. It sold for $20, it's gone to Dublin. Georgia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We sold a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's a um, lunchbox with DVD, Blu-ray. You, you know what? You know what we ought to do? What? Whenever you say where something's going, I should name the capital. That way we can know for sure. We can learn the capitals and also we can know for sure that, that where it's going is not a capital. So what's the capital of Georgia? Atlanta. Uh, okay, let's find out. Alexa, what's the capital of Georgia? Georgia's capital is Atlanta. We just okay. talked about that yesterday, right? All right. Yeah, because it's a big city. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we sold a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Blu-ray gift set. It's in, it's in a cool lunchbox. It's shaped like a garbage truck if you want to carry your lunch in a garbage truck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's on 5 Echo Left. 5 Echo Left. Well, now I have to move my step stool. <laughs> All right. This guy right here, where is it going? It's 
it's going to Alabama. Uh, I just looked at that. Montgomery. Okay, it's going to Gallant, Alabama. Gallant, Alabama. Okay. Sold for $25. I'm gonna I'm become like the best state capital knower in the in the country. You watch. I'm gonna time. quiz you in six months. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I, study. We sold an elbow strap in the cube. Just listed this like yesterday or day before. This guy right here. It, this was in the unlisted stuff. Remember when we yep. were doing inventory? Yep. Which I'm hoping we have time to do some more inventory. I don't today. know where. I guess we got that at an HBA. HBA buy, buy yeah. I think. Um, that's all for nine ninety nine. It's going to Illinois. We talk about HBA buy as if, as if all the all everyone watching this video knows what we're talking about. <laughs> no. I mean, this happened like what three years ago, probably or two and a half. Two years ago, yeah. We bought like, we bought out a whole, pretty much a whole garage sale of like health and beauty, uh, but like vitamins, hair color, all kind of stuff. We made money on it, but after that, we were like, never again. Well, no, I, <laughs> I will not say never again, but I will be more specific about what HBA. Just because um, the hassle with expiration dates. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that kind of stuff again. If you man. list something with an expiration date, that's it's good for six months. Well, you got to stay on top and take that listing down when it expires. Yep. We're yep. not doing that. No, I don't no. want to mess with that stuff anymore. <laughs> so that sold for uh, nine ninety nine. Oh, and then you know eBay can always like take stuff down right. incorrectly, you know, yes. and whatever. Like they will take it down if you don't have the expiration in your title. Or sometimes they'll take stuff down just because they. It takes they, stuff they down. Yeah. Um, did we Where's that going? Illinois. Springfield. Waterman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One Bravo. 18 Star Wars mystery po posters in the retail box. Yeah, this came from the uh, $2,000 store buy. Yeah. One of the early, really, uh, you know, this is a really good item here. That's what we're going to talk a little more about is that, that store buy in just a bit. Yeah. That sold for uh, $44.99. Mm -hmm. It's going to Kansas. Okay. Uh, Topeka. Topeka. No. Park City. Okay. We have a comic book lot. CN1. Oh, that's uh, Conan. Oh, I might have to. It might be buried up here. Uh, it's not too bad. Actually, I think I can get it. This isn't heavy. All right. Cool. Okay. CN1. Got it. That, uh, by the way, the jeans all got put in here yesterday. They hey, paid. those sold for twenty nine ninety nine. They're going to Connecticut. Uh, Hartford, maybe. I don't know. Alexa, what's the capital of Connecticut? Connecticut's capital is Hartford. Yeah. Okay. There you go. It's going to Harwinton. Ah, <laughs> very tricky, Harwinton. Uh, we sold a, a compact case uh it's in the D, D drawer it's that cool double-sided one yeah so it's um it's cool because the the, the holder for the comb is engraved for a 1957 mardi gras crew so i'm imagining it was either a gift to the court or the queen or something like that very fancy yes so um i had it listed for 75 and uh we made a deal with somebody for $67 and 49 well, cents. Well, well, I'll tell the full story. So yeah. yesterday I sent offers on like, I don't know, 20 things for 10% off. Didn't tell Candace. I never tell Candace when no, I do that. No, he doesn't. And rarely does, this hardly ever happens. Okay, so what happened? So yeah, he had sent out offers I didn't know. And um, I get a message about this compact. All they said was, will you take 65? And um, I, I was shot back to him. How about 70? <laughs> and they go, no, nah, I'll take your offer of 67.49. It was a 10% offer. We had already sent offers and Candace was trying to negotiate the other way back towards the city. Well, after I came back with a higher number, they're like, okay, I'll take your offer. <laughs> it, was, it was funny, but it wasn't. It was kind of awkward. I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't know my husband sent out offers on this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 67.49. It's going to North Carolina. North Carolina. Uh, oh, I just I just studied this oh. in my in my scholarly uh, yeah. journey here. Uh, that is um, Raleigh. Yeah. Don't try to mouth it. <laughs> You're like those uh, stage moms <laughs> trying to show their kid the dance routine oh, behind. They're the... standing off in the wings. <laughs> I guess teachers do that. Um, it's going to Durham, North Carolina. 
All right, we saw a Looney Tunes shirt, a good sale here. Oh, um, yeah. It's for Delta. We are clothing sellers, sort of. No, we're clothing sellers. Hog's breath, I just listed that. Okay. Here we go. Looney Tunes. That's all for $99.99. It's, it's a cool big graphic one. They're riding motorcycles. Excited. Re really cool shirt. No, it is cool. I, whenever I saw it, we bought this from, um, from Beverly when yeah. we went and picked her her back stock and uh when i saw it i was like "Ooh, that could be good mm -hmm. and it was good um so that's going to wisconsin wisconsin uh madison what's the cap alexa what's the capital of wisconsin wisconsin's capital is madison yes you got it it's going to mount pleasant okay okay we saw it a a twerk mini a turk a what would you say <laughs> Oh man. Okay, I already know what it is because we just. All right, it's this thing. It's not a twerk. It didn't. It says Turk. Does it say twerk? No. It says Turk. A Turk. It's a TV switch. Okay. Converter thing. Um, it's over eight ninety nine. It's gone to. Where? Am I Michigan? What state? Am I? Oh, Michigan. Michigan. Oh, uh, Michigan. Ooh, I don't think I know that one. Do you know that one? I don't. Alexa, what's the capital of Michigan? Michigan's capital is Lansing. Okay, Lansing. Oh, I knew that. I knew that at one point in my life, yes. North, Northville is where that's going. Okay. And then here's another great sale. Um, we sold some more gumbo pieces. Um, we sold eight salad plates. So we sold set A and set B. Um, they each sold for $59.99, so it's 120 bucks there. Okay, are and they that, there? No, nah, they're over here. Here? I think. No, they're here. I forgot. There? Yeah. That's Pyrex. Here, hand me that. I'll just set it right here. Okay. Um, so okay. that just leaves us with the dinner plates. We've sold yeah. everything. Be very careful. Yeah, that's B. Okay, I'm under it. I'm good. Okay. And that's A. So that just leaves us with four, four dinner, dinner plates. plates. Yep. So Candace, Candace got these at an estate sale. Yeah, so I um I spotted them in a picture that they put pictures up, you know, for the sale. And I'm like, what is that? I've never seen it before. So I did a Google image search and I was like, wow, they're DH homes, you know. And um we went I didn't but I didn't go during full price days. We went on Sunday like we always do. And it was not even the first sale. They had been open like an hour and they were still there. I was like, what is going on? Why hasn't somebody just snatched them up for themselves, you know? So, um, yeah, we paid $75 for them. And we've sold everything except those dinner plates. Um, we've sold over $500 worth, like $505. So, yeah, it was eight bowls we sold and 12 salad plates. And we have the dinner plates left. That was that was a score. Quite a score there. Um, they're going to North Carolina. North Carolina, we just talked about that one, right? That's uh, Raleigh. Yeah, they're going to Garner, North Carolina. Okay, awesome. Yep. Okay, I think all the other ones either went to what? The other other gumbo pattern we sold went to like Louisiana or Mississippi? Yeah, they were more, I mean, North Carolina, I guess, is supposed uh, to be a southern state. I it is, know. sort of. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I, when when I talked to Justin, he claims Virginia is southern, and I understand Okay. Uh, for purposes of like the Civil War, <laughs> maybe, but but for purposes of uh, of current day, Virginia is like this is kind of where uh, I I set my bar for Southern is like this line going right here. I think that's a fair, you know. Yeah. Like and then this I is agree. this is like south this is like southwestern southern no no wrong. southeastern yeah. southern southwestern yeah that's about what I say too <laughs> yeah so I agree with that. I agree with that. All right. Um, yeah, let me get all this stuff packed. And then uh, we're going to answer a... We got a really good question in the comments yesterday I want to talk about. All right. Packages are all... Uh, everything's packed up and ready to roll. Yep. I've been... Um, so we have a new plan for cross-listing. We used to let it kind of sit on eBay for two weeks. And we've changed... We're trying something new. So we're built... Like we told you yesterday um, or the last video... We're building our listings and list per 
perfectly first and then we're going to put them on the platforms all of them from there yeah um so what i did i've been trying to catch up on older listings and i just decided to nix that um but i did go through in the last few weeks our stuff that i felt should be cross-listed i went ahead and did it um so i just sat down and i'm working on 36 listings right now and it's taken a while but once that's done it's going to be so much easier and faster because, you know, we're going to be cross-listing all at the same time. Everything moving yeah. forward. Yeah. It's, yeah. It'll be a real time saver. Yeah. So, um, we had some uh, viewer comments we thought were interesting. Yeah. This first one, you'll want to, some of y'all want to listen up. Pay attention. <laughs> if you're packing orders, stop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, keep working. Yeah. Keep working. Um, so this is from Jamie Hammond 493. Hi guys, love your videos so much. Have you ever ran a contest where the winning viewer gets a drawer named after them? That would be fun. I agree, Lottie and I both saw this comment and we love it and we want to do it. So um, we're gonna run a contest. No, 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 no. Let's not. Let's just say, give us a thousand dollars and get. No, I'm sure. <laughs> Highest bidder. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would never do that. That would be horrible. Um. So we thought, okay, which drawer would it be? Um, MU8 is the only one that's not, doesn't really have a name. It's named MU8 for makeup because Lonnie originally used it to store cosmetics. That was a long time ago. A long time ago before I was even in the shed. Um, so that's going to be the drawer right here. And, um, tell them how they can win. Okay. Well, today, uh, as we record this video, uh, it is February 2nd, also known as what? Tater Tot Day. It is actually Tater Tot Day, <laughs> but we're going to focus on the more well-known Groundhog Day uh, uh, holiday. Yeah, it is Groundhog all. Day. What are you doing for, What you think anybody like actually celebrates Groundhog Day outside of Poxitani? Po is it Poxitani? Poxitani. Po Poxitani. Po Poxitani Phil, isn't that his name? I thought it was Punxitani. I don't know. Okay. It doesn't matter. So to win, you have to type out that word correctly. No, I'm just kidding. In, yeah, Poxitani. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I like that even better. <laughs> Hang on a second. Let me go find this. Uh, spelling. <laughs> all right. uh, we were going to do Groundhog, but now we're not. We're not. Hang on. We're going to, I'm going to find out uh, how to spell that. All right. So we're not even going to tell you how to spell it. So you might have to do a little research on your own. Yes. But it's, uh, the town is called Punxsutawney. And as you know from probably from the movie Groundhog Day, I hated that movie. Really? Yes. Oh my god. Oh, it irritated me so bad. I love that movie. It was boring. It was the same thing over and over. I love that movie so much. I know. <laughs> I really do. I really love that movie. That's a classic. Yeah, I know. Man, our tastes are very different when it comes to entertainment. Yes. Except for Amazing Race, we both are enjoying it. We just finished season two. Um, which I didn't love season two, but the ending, the final bit of the race was, I mean, it was awesome. Yeah. It was, but yeah, we're about we to start off subject now. We're going to start season three tonight. But anyway, what does that have to do with Groundhog Day? Nothing. So, um, to win, to win, uh, somewhere in your comment, you need to write, uh, the type. name of the town type type <laughs> punk Sutani. The name of the town in Pennsylvania where they um, do the the what were they, the Groundhog Day celebration yes. each year, Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. You just have to put spelling is important because we're going to search for comments with that word with that exact spelling. Right. Yes. And then, uh, yeah, if we we we'll do. I don't know when, when are we going to, I don't even know when this video is going to publish, but whenever this video publishes, you'll have like, um, you'll have, you want to do a week? Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a week. A week from when this video is published. A week from when this video publishes and I'll put the deadline, um, in the description down below because and I'll now, know it. And by now the also keep in mind when we film our videos do not go up the same day. So we're going to give a week for people to enter and put comments in. Yep. And then it's going to be, it could be up to a week after that when we announce that when you see the announcement of the winner. Yep. So. And then whoever wins, you'll get to name this drawer, this inventory location right here. Um, however, like we do have the, we Discretion. will reserve the right yeah. to reject uh, you know, 
foul things or things we don't want or whatever. Yeah. If it's offensive or we find it offensive or we just don't like, like we hate it, yeah. we're not going to do it. And we might have to go back and forth and do a little negotiation there. But yeah, you'll win the, you'll win the right to do that. Yeah. So, um, Fun idea. Love it. Yeah. So yeah. Punxsutawney. Punxsutawney. And get that spelling right. Cause ha happy Groundhog Day. Yeah. And, and happy Groundhog Day. And I don't, do you see his shadow? And Tater Tot Day. I don't know if he saw his shadow or not. I don't know if they've done it yet or not. And I saw this other question last night that I wanted, like, I didn't want to save it for the q and I wanted to go ahead and answer it now. Okay. This is from Brian Willis, 8757. On the store buyout, talking about the $2,000 eBay store buyout, I'm curious, what are you doing differently that's getting this stuff to sell than how the original owners did it since it wasn't selling on their store? Um, you want to me to start out? or? Yeah, go ahead. You can. Um, I think one thing is, um, for first of all, we're being very picky about what we list. Um, so, you know, we don't want the same stuff that they had sitting around, sitting around in here, too. Um, we, I think we're pricing a little um, more aggressively. A lot. Yeah. And um, maybe photo quality. You yep. know, I feel like um, our photos may be just a little better. Um, what else? Uh, we have top rated status on eBay. Right. We have great feedback. I yeah. don't know how their feedback was. I, um okay. The, their pictures were okay. They weren't great. And we, we did identify that a lot of their stuff seemed to be priced a tad high. Now, we have an advantage over them because I promise you when they bought all that inventory, they didn't pay 2000 for it. No. They paid more. I'm sure they paid more. Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea how much they paid. And another thing, whenever you, whenever you source something personally, not you exactly but Just anyone in general, yeah. you're gonna have like an emotional attachment to that item in it's right. some level you're gonna you're gonna really like be like oh but that's worth this much because you you looked it up when you were buying it maybe you comped it or whatever and it, it even if you it isn't what you thought it was gonna be but it's still something you might list because you're like well at least i want to get some of my money back or get my money back right you, you yeah. you're focused on what you initially paid for the thing or whatever right, right. like we we have zero attachment we didn't pay much for this stuff so we're willing to price it i the the number one thing was price i think yeah we're willing to price it at whatever it takes to sell yeah so even if something's worth fifty dollars uh worth fifty dollars and we feel like we want to sell it for 30 to move it we will yeah we will. We can too because, because of the, our, our profit margins. Because yeah. of the price we pay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that that that's a great question because yeah. if they can't sell it, how can you? Right. Well, we can sell it because we're willing to we're willing to sell it cheap. Yes. Or we're willing to lower the price mostly. So yeah. that I thought that was a very good question because that's actually a question I asked myself uh whenever before we bought it. I was like, okay, now why what can we do differently differently yeah. than what they are doing to get this stuff sold? Yeah. And then when when we answered that question, then we felt comfortable buying it. Right. So that was a very good question. All right, y'all, I'm listing clothing now. I've listed two jackets so far for 50 each. Now I'm working on these pants. I've got three pairs of these uh, Navy, U.S. Navy digital camo pants. And uh, I, I turned the camera on this time because I wanted to show y'all something. I noticed at the bottom of my photos, it looked a little dingy, dark, off color just a little bit. I adjusted the lights trying to get them the right height and stuff. But then finally I'm looking at the bench and I start to think that maybe there's a color cast coming off of the top of the bench, reflecting up. And sure enough, look, here's a before photo with the bench just like it is. And then the next photo you're, photo you're gonna see, the lights are the in, in the same exact position. The, uh, the camera is on the same exact settings. Everything's the same. The only difference is I put a piece of white vinyl poster board underneath and now the color cast is gone. So um, it's not always, and, and we, we've experienced color casting inside of this before too. Uh, it's not always just the background. You might be getting some colors bouncing from your, your immediate surroundings. So I wanted to share that with y'all. I keep learning things today. 
I'm, and it's <laughs> not state capitals. State capitals and geography. How and, to spell Punxsutawney? I forgot already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, he um he did not see his shadows. So early spring. Early spring. Yuck. For us, I'd rather have longer cold. Why? That means garage shells will start sooner. That's true. Yeah. But we we have two thousand things to list. I know. We better get to work. <laughs> but I, I I wanted to show y'all this. I was listing these jeans. This is crazy. So I have they're really nice jeans. They're Carhartt fr jeans and they're they're in really good condition but i started he got it it's it was weird first i see this and this looks like it was something that was applied post-production see it's got a dude's name on it a barcode and stuff and then looking at all the tags and stuff as i'm kind of looking at like the fr fr details and things like that and it does have a tag on the outside too talking about the fire resistant uh i think it said fr2 on it or something but anyways i was looking at the tags oh look here it is right here 2112 arc2 but then i saw this tag garment designed exclusively for rental and i was like what what are you talking about Are right, renting jeans what is this and so I started looking on eBay and people are putting design made for rental in the titles. And I, I will too, because I mean, I want to be completely up front. I don't think it matters because they're still used. But then, so then I Googled it. Am I the only one that has, didn't know about this? I mean, I know Centos does like uniforms, but I didn't know that like companies made jeans just for rental but sure enough check this out centos's website they have uh they do they have like a, a big line of carhartt clothing shirts jeans etc and yeah jackets so that that might also explain why those jeans are in good condition too candace yeah because they probably put it through some kind of cleaning process professional that, cleaning every time yeah Mm -hmm. And then they make sure it gets back to the guy who wears them with that little yeah. tag that's in yeah. there. So I just thought that was interesting. I'd yeah. never heard of that before in my life. Mm -hmm. All right, it is much later, y'all. We uh, we just finished listing. And good news for me today, at least. I did not encounter that eBay error I was talking about before at all. And I think you did had it once. One time this morning, and it, it was fine the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, knocking on wood, knocking on wood. That's over. I don't know if it is or not, or maybe going like doing the list perfectly route is working for it. Whatever it is, I just hope it stays the same. Um, but yeah, we got our we we hit our target for listing. I figured it up earlier, and. We needed to average 17.1 listings a day um, from here on out. And so we got 18 up for 491 today. So that's pretty good. Um, someone in the reseller water cooler actually posted a, did a post asking people to share their momentum board. So a lot of other people are doing the, this too. Yeah. I, I do think it's a good tool. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we got some cool listings up today. I listed a bunch of, Candace listed some yarns. I listed a bunch of jackets. Y'all probably can't even see this stuff too well. But uh, yeah, we we mix, we listed a nice mix. Plush, we listed a nice mix of stuff today. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is gonna be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for joining us. And we will see y'all again very soon. Bye y'all. Bye.